don't think we use snare though. Feedback. There we go. That's the one thing we no, got feedback. Didn't. Yeah, that's weird. It was, it was <coughs> really weird. There should be no feedback. Everything's contained. That's why we did it this way. Oh well, this is gonna be a shit show. It is contained. <laughs> Everything we do. Containment. Everything we do is a shit show. Containment breach. Oh, yep. yeah. Anyway. We're the Ungodly Geeks. Hello, I'm Joe. I'm Luke. And uh, I think I'm Ron. He thinks he's Ron. He could be somebody else today. We don't know. He's fucking Borg. He is Locutus of Borg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he... I identify as a Porg now. Oh, he's a Porg. Oh, I'm sorry. So what are your preferred pronouns? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, give people the doe eyes. Uh, Why are you eating my mommy? <laughs> because she's tasty. Yeah. I, honest to God, I expected the next scene would Chewie would be giving him a bite of the fucking other dude. I mean, dude, I like, was waiting for there it. There was apparently going to be a deleted scene where, like, uh, um, like, uh, where... When Luke throws the lightsaber over his shoulder. What the hell was it that? It was going to land next to Porgs. It was going to land next to Porgs, and they were going to turn it on, and it was going to shoot through the head of one of the Porgs <laughs> yes. and murder one of the Porgs at the oh beginning of the Oh, my God. Oh, that would have been a great setup. It's a little setup. dark. I'd have, I'd have probably rated that movie a real out of thing. 10 for that. It would have gotten a whole lot better marks overall, because, yeah. my God, that movie was garbage. <laughs> Spoiler alert. It's garbage. Terrible. Joe, Joe hated that movie. I do, I man. Like, like, like the more I look back also. on it, yeah. Like, the more I look back on it, the more I just like it. That so, movie so hurts. Much. It yes. hurts. It bothers me. Like, I just no, none of that. No, <laughs> no to all of it. That's a no for me, dog. All of that. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm, I'm gonna take a hard pass on seeing that again. Yeah. So anyway, today's topics we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, video games because, of Why course, the we fuck are not. Yeah, I mean that's all we ever talk <laughs> about. Um, if I'm being perfectly honest with you, we really didn't do much in the way of research on topics we wanted to talk about this week. So this is a conversational podcast. Yeah, th- this one's just going to be you know another another sort of uh, we sit down and just kind of have a chat about things. It's an hour yeah. on Friday. And so if anybody tells whatever. me to get back on topic, I'm throwing a pen at your head. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a topic. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, they're, they're just. Just be prepared for conversations. You know, we're not going to talk about horse sex this time. Um, at least I'm not going to talk about horse sex. Hey, you know what? The gym inquisition was all about clop this week, so. Once you've seen a man die from horse sex, you don't really need to bring it up again. <laughs> yeah, you, Mr. Hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Google it. Yeah. That don't guy, man. Don't. 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 Don't Google that. <laughs> Just don't. Don't. No, you, I don't think it's safe to Google something like that in this day and age. It's not safe anymore. to Google anything anymore. <laughs> yeah. Really? Let's yeah, like, like it, it's interesting oh, how geez. like a single misspelled, like a, a single misplaced letter, yeah. Yeah. can turn a completely innocent search into now the FBI is knocking at your you're door. On, you're on a watch list. <laughs> so it's oh, like I'm on a watch list. Well, great. like yeah, like like guys, chill. I'm not actually looking for child porn. It's it's okay. Seriously, I just wanted to order a cheese pizza. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Honestly. I, I was looking for a coupon for 50% off pizza at a local pizzeria. Uh, my bad. Sure, that's exactly what. <laughs> that's what they all say. Would say. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, God. Did you guys, you know, fucking random topic. Did you guys hear about um, Subway Guy? He was trying Jared, to... Jared Fogle? Jared, Jared Fogle, yeah. I killed He's him in South Park. He... Oh, <laughs> good. They should do it in real life, too. Yeah. They, uh, so he tried. He was convicted. He confessed right, to all right. the child pornography things. So he sent a letter, I believe, to the court where he was trying to claim that they did not have... Uh, not eminent domain, but they didn't have jurisdiction to try him in a federal court because when he did all this stuff, he was uh, traveling for work. And because it wasn't related to his job uh, that he was traveling for, for Subway, uh, he was not in federal jurisdiction. Uh, so they could not try him for it. Where? Okay. And when he was traveling, where was he located? All around the country because it was all over state lines. Okay. Okay. So he was... So he's traveling at the federal level, and he's trying to argue that the federal level does not have They have no jurisdiction to try him because – oh, he totally did it. He's not what saying he didn't. 
but he, they did, it was this cra- it's this crazy like it, it it's that's all when, about <laughs> that's when you like actually <laughs> yeah, actually mind death, blown actually death by firing squad yeah. now buddy oh yeah it <laughs> you was don't this belong, whole, you don't deserve to be on this try him and try him in a state like West Virginia somewhere where they're just going to be like all right we'll put you in prison forever in I, the worst smallest teeniest I, little box I don't get where his logic is is at. I, I don't. I can't. I can't follow oh, his man. logic in that. Like, it's this, you're traveling across the country. They're trying you in a federal prison. Yeah, that is the exact definition of federal oh, yeah, yeah, jurisdiction. Yeah. Like, what I, is I, wrong with you? I don't even know if I've got it quite right. It was. Uh, it, it was uh, a, the lawyer, the copyright attorney. Uh, uh, Leonard French. Leonard French. Yeah. Awesome guy. Check right. out his channel. Uh, he was reading this the the, the document that uh, Jared Fogel right. submitted. And it's the whole thing was Leonard French kept stopping himself and just being like, this idiot, this is all for non-criminal, like the whole thing was all based on something that's not for criminal court in the first place. It's all for civil. So it, he, it, it, it applies to him not at all. It's like he was just reaching. He realized, oh, fuck, maybe I shouldn't have uh, pled guilty to all of this. And is trying it tie was, him to a it was legitimately and start a very just small fire. <laughs> made my day to listen and to hear him talk about how stupid this motherfucker is. We're gonna talk is. about like some capital punishment type stuff. I like what they did. Uh, there was a scene in, in Game of Thrones where they strap a guy down. They put a fucking rat in a bucket. They strap. Oh strap, god, that was horrifying. Yeah, they strap the bucket to the guy's stomach and then they light one end on fire so yep. the rat eats through the guy's right, stomach. Uh, I saw like, that first in Fast and the Furious. <laughs> like, let's do too that. Fast, too Furious, I think it was. Let, let's do that to him. We could learn a lot from uh, like medieval Victorian era. <laughs> Some of the capital punishment Europe. things that they did, like, dude, oh, that's fucked up. The uh, the Inquisition. <laughs> How about we literally boil him in oil? <laughs> literally, no punishment. Boil him in a subway fryer. You can't kill him slow enough and prepare yeah. painfully enough. Yeah. No, it's just like, dude, what is wrong with you? He's a fucking sick piece of shit. Turning I, like I, I mean, giving him over to like Ramsey Bolton would be wouldn't be enough. <laughs> I don't know, cut his dick off and you know, cut his fingers off, and now what's he doing? Yeah, you know, he can't pleasure himself anymore. I mean, you still lock him up, throw away the key. Eh. I don't know, man. It's just that that whole situation. Like, like any time, yeah. it's it's that kind of thing. Like, that hurts my heart mm-hmm. for sure. Because God, fuck. So, um, Nintendo Direct happened. Oh well, a, a direct. They called it a direct mini. Mm-hmm. It was a fourteen minute uh, presentation of just video games. Yeah. So I mean, some of those some of those games were looking pretty pretty stellar. It's a lot of uh, re- like remakes, but. The way I like a remake, it, they weren't ports. They're yeah. legitimately remastered. Like, we're bringing this game over, we're including all the content, you know, upgrading the visuals and things like that. Sony's done that the last two years at E3, and that is the way to go. Just yeah. come out, introduce the game, get off stage. Or just don't come out at all for most yeah. of them. Just rapid fire through well, all. That's nothing but games. Nintendo's, like, the way they're doing with Nintendo Directs, like, I don't even think they had an E3 presentation. No. They no, were like, they, no, they we're were. doing our own thing. Yeah. And the fact that they constantly come out with these, like, hey, here's how Nintendo is doing, and they're just showing off games, they're, like, showing off hardware and just whatever they're working on. A lot, of, awesome. a lot of game companies are pulling out of E3. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, it's kind of a sad state. I remember when I was a kid, E3's coming was like, oh my god, I can't wait. I don't think Bethesda's pulled completely out of E3. I think they have no, their they own still day, have a but, huge presentation. But they, they've planted the seed over the last two years where they dipped their feet into having their own day. Yeah. And and it got bigger the, this last past year. Well, it's so. th- they all are like still doing a presentation around E3, but like they're doing it at their own venues and stuff like that. Right? Yeah. Like uh, where we at? We're a part of E3, but we're gonna be over here in this other hotel complex. Yeah, we're a part of E3, but we're gonna be in a whole other state. We don't. It's fine. We don't want to smell you. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Which I guess I can't. I mean, <laughs> like when uh, the uh, animals, everybody you see on YouTube and shit. Yeah. They, that, right afterwards, they're all sick. <laughs> <laughs> they're all sick. They all have the E three flu. Right. Oh my god. Well, I always enjoyed watching uh, Adam Sessler at E three because hates it. by like the third day, he's got no voice. I he's literally so losing his mind. 
because last, he's been up for 72 hours like, straight. The last one he did, they literally yeah. made him sit there for like three days straight. Mm. Yeah. Just, it was just for a fucking web killing. show, a yeah. YouTube channel. That's Adam Sessler, dude. He is like, <laughs> he is video game father for yeah. me, like X Play back in the day with Morgan Webb and he Adam was on Sessler a cable channel, G4, and then <laughs> I, nobody cares. God. I know. He's, he's so. Beyond minor, like there are people who just do podcasts or big. He is the Godfather. He's not. He. I don't even think he does gaming anymore. He's just he mostly was, just a, a, a media company. Now. He was hired as the hype man for the Friday uh, the Thirteenth. Friday yeah. the Thirteenth, which is unfortunate because I think had he not been a part of that, he'd probably have ripped that game a new asshole because of all the yeah. development issues it had when it did release. And not to mention, like it's a cool game. Beyond that, yeah, just it's definitely an interesting com uh, concept. It's just buggy as hell. There's a lot of love put into that game. Yeah. So I'm not, I can't hate on that game. And I'm biased as fuck. Yeah. Right, right. I love right. horror movies and I love the franchise and there's so many little details in that game. I that wanted I that to be a game that I could be like, all my friends have it, I'm playing that. I and like, heard they were going to release a nobody. single player for that game, but no, nah, I don't know. They they I, I saw like the, I saw like the Summer Beach DLC they released recently. But no story mode yet. I'll buy it when they release a story mode. I don't care yeah. what kind of story mode it is. Just give me a few hour campaign for fuck's sake. I mean, it's so interesting that we have all these game companies that are sitting there saying single player games are dead, and yet yeah. Ron is here going oh, off about give I me single player games. I don't yeah. want to pay money for a game where my enjoyment is relying is upon other rely- people. I, completely yep. based upon other players. Yeah, right. I can't have fun as Jason or a camp counselor or whatever. Yeah. If I have idiot teammates or idiot people in the match, right? Uh, That's or why if their packs. skill is so where be, is so high beyond, and you're playing Jason, yeah. Most like, like, people losing. I hear who play the game, they're like, "Oh, when you do get to play as Jason, you get to play as him like once every eight, eight to ten matches." Yeah, you know they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They like people are just literally fucking with you. It, it ruins the immersion because you don't get to play as him enough and things like that. And yeah, I mean, if you're gonna make a game based on <laughs> on that kind of IP, let us be the icon of that IP. Yeah, you know, like 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 I'm not paying money to be a fucking camp counselor. Okay? <laughs> yeah, no, no one. No, fuck those guys. Those guys are assholes. Let's Although let me play they, as the Jason. Cat and mouse yeah. is fun, but I mean, you let me that, run around the... as Jason. They put so much time into like the power set that Jason yeah. has and all that stuff. And I like that they want to add other stuff, like uh, um, homages to other. Uh, horror movies and horror franchises. Like, that they're doing by, something with... That uh, Dead by Daylight game is really steal, trying to steal the mojo yeah. of the Friday the 13th game because they were like, oh, pff, we'll get Michael Myers. Yeah. Put a Michael Myers skin into the game and, and Halloween sound effects. And then they're like, we're gonna, we'll get fucking Freddy Krueger now. And now they got Freddy Krueger. Their game I want didn't it, come I out want them so bad, but they're, they're multiplayer <laughs> games. I can't do it. Yeah. Like, I don't mind multiplayer games. I mean, I I mean, Left 4 Dead is like it's a game in that it. genre that is perfect. Yeah, but it's not. You're like like Ron said. Your your it's enjoyment of the a, game in addition to yeah, right. Your enjoyment of the game is not based on oh, you can only play with people. Like no, you can play with AI characters. They suck, but you can still have fun with the game. Yeah, because all you're doing is mowing down zombies. Yeah, yeah. It's not like uh, we'll get it's you know in Nintendo Direct Payday Two. Payday Two. You cannot play that game alone. Yeah. I, I owned it. Like I, uh, you say that, but I wouldn't. Ha- I don't have any faith that I could buy Friday the Thirteenth and just play a, like exclusive, you know, CPU matches and shit. Well, that's that's know. exactly the point that I'm making, though. Like, like yeah. Left for Dead is a game that's done in a in a similar style God, where you I can enjoy Dead, it though. even <laughs> with even with CPU players. Yeah, Whereas yeah. this game, I, I don't see you. For one, if you're not playing as Jason more than every eight to ten matches. The game is just fuck that, you know. Yeah. Seriously, it's a terrible game. <laughs> but like, if you have to play with other people, or if it's well, it's that, an, a multiplayer game. Yeah, it's it, not if really... it forces you to play with yeah. other people, and you can't have a decent CPU bot match type mm-hmm. thing, what's the point? Yeah, well, yeah. that oh. was the problem with uh, Payday Two. If you tried to play it single player, which they gave you the option for some reason, um, the bots wouldn't use tools. Yeah. They wouldn't do anything but follow you around and sometimes shoot at the cops. They would seriously just stare at you while you have to keep running back and fixing the fucking drill 
to get the money out of the safe. <laughs> and it's damn, literally impossible. It's like, at least in my experience, it was impossible to play the game alone well, that's why and I have said, fun. So when we get that, when that game yeah. pop drops, I mean, we both have swords to say, fuck it, buy the game, and we yeah. just play at work or something. Oh, hell yeah. We don't have to. I think that's probably why in GTA Online you can't do heists with a, with a computer. Yeah. They yeah. make you play with other it's players. The same exact thing, I'm sure, is that yeah. it's just not, it doesn't work. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't imagine it working all that well if you're not going to put that kind of AI, yeah. that effort into the AI where, the, 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 where like, your computer's partner can analyze the situation like, oh, shit, this is going on. Yeah. I should go take care of that rather than just standing there like a fucking jackass. Like, mm. come on, man, get, get over there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's kind of like I, I dislike it where even Left 4 Dead, Gears of War, those games when you're playing that have that option to play, man. Uh, they won't get you up if you get knocked down. Yeah, Valve you just the not, game ends. Yeah, Valve is I, I've not always disliked our that. friend. No, like, come on, man. Release a, video a game Left 4 Dead anymore. three. Come on, man. Release a fucking Half Life three. No. They would lose money. Do anything. <laughs> no, see, that's the thing. Like they're making they're so, so much great. money. They're making so much yeah. money off Steam. I know they don't they, have to. It's a yeah. money machine. Like seriously, yeah. it, it's insane. Like, well, like I mean, just. Have show some integrity, man. Those properties are, are license them out to somebody who could do yeah, some fun like, with them. Those do are what things. Nintendo you, did. I get you're making yeah. money. You can't take that beloved thing and just yeah. well, you can obviously, but you, that's not so. It's they not something you do. It. You just let it die. Yeah. I mean, they kind People of love that thing. Maybe in that case, have some respect maybe, for your player base. Uh, maybe the fact that they've done Portal Bridge Builder is a good sign. Eh, maybe I don't like know. they are never going to make a Half Life. The fact that <laughs> at this point probably not, but the fact that they're will they they've taken a property and let somebody else use it. Yeah, may, it gives me a wee a wee bit of hope that maybe they'll go. Okay, well, we'll this little developer go ahead and here you Could make the you next. Imagine board. how great like, a new hey. Left for Dead would be. Just the the jump in tech, uh, the the jump in. Yeah. In, like, oh, ridiculous. I would love this. It would be it'd be fun as fuck. Plus, that game's great with mods. I mean, running around with Velociraptors or Deadpool. <laughs> was, yeah, I, I, you know what? Any game where I have the option to play a, a, as a Deadpool clone type thing, I always take it. <laughs> like I always like, like I ran around in Skyrim for, for a while as, yeah. as Deadpool. I've run around uh, like any game where I can do that. I it's just, just I do because it's just retarded. Like because yep. it's Deadpool, and you know There's you got some of them were really well done. Yeah, the yeah, one like, I played on Fallout Four was so well done. I remember yeah. sending you guys pictures. Yeah, so yeah, impressive. Yeah. It, it looks better than the 360 game. <laughs> I mean, yeah, wait, wait, honestly, that's that, not. that's not hard to do. No, <laughs> I mean, High Moon Studios did well with that game, but it's not hard to make it look better, make anything look better than that. Yeah. Truthfully, it was a forty dollar game. Yeah, and it was worth it too. Mm-hmm. Like, I still got to go back and complete it, uh, but I, I have, I've enjoyed that game in in the, in the past. You know. So we were talking about Nintendo Direct, and then we're on a really long t- Friday the Thirteenth tangent. Well, yeah. no, because it tied back into Payday, so that's more. Yeah, to, that's more right. than. You know, which, you know, I, I, I'm actually, I, I'm not sure. I like that game. I do want to point, put out that that game, when you get and play with people. Yeah. And I, my, one of my problems is I don't like playing co-op multiplayer games if I don't know the people I'm playing with. Right. So if I don't have friends to play the game, I'm probably not going to play the game. Right. But if Same. I know people that get that, I'll get on there. Um, like, they, it had one of the most fun missions. And the whole game, by the way, you play bad guys. It's payday. You're, it's a heist based game. Yeah. Everything you do is robbing banks. Like Kane and Lynch. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. You oh, yeah. are yeah, yeah, taking much. hostages, and you have to constantly make the hostages calm down because if they lose their shit, they'll fucking run. And oh, if they're yeah. running around, they get in your way. Any hostage you kill takes out more money of the final total you get for beating the level. And getting it like robbing the bank or whatever. That's a nice gesture. We're not encouraging. No, no, they're not. They're totally no. <laughs> keep the hostages down. Yeah. You wipe out cops by the hundreds. Yeah. But um, there's a a level where you are in a meth house. Yes. You are in in the you match, are Walter White. Yeah. You have to protect the meth house uh, from a rival gang and then SWAT and. In the middle of the match, while all the shooting is happening, you're getting attacked by SWAT and this other gang. You have to cook meth. <laughs> and we have if to you, cook. If come you on, fuck come up, come on, Ron. We have to go cook. <laughs> yeah. If you fuck up, it explodes and everyone dies. Science, oh, bitch. <laughs> so you seriously, you'll sit there at the table, and one player has to be designated to go to the table, and the other players are bringing them ingredients, and they have to put the ingredients in in the right order. While a guy on a walkie is telling you, okay. So next, you're going to add 
the bleach. No, wait, no, 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 don't do the bleach. No, do the cornstarch next or whatever the ingredient. I don't know. But <laughs> you fuck up and it's it fucks with you like that through the whole process. It's always a little different. What a dick. So like, fun. Come on, man. Get your shit Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he'll, he'll stutter and like, uh, I what think fuckhead, man. the next thing you do and it's it's. Why fun. do I have you here? I thought you knew how to cook meth. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, would be, I would be asking questions at that point. Like, who oh, the your fuck's the guy in the, the walkie? The <laughs> cool thing is that game, it's, it's legitimately funny too, where your character is like, you motherfucker, you're <laughs> supposed to know this shit. <laughs> it's great uh, I kind of look forward to playing the game because I mean yeah. it's, it's one of those games it looks cool because I've had so many I've got so many games on, on PC that I'm not sure what I own and yeah I want to I want to <laughs> think that I've bought this game recently on PC it's one of those games that's on I think I might own the game I don't own all the DLC on PC right yeah I I've think just that's never the situation installed I'm it in. I think I'm in, I think that's the situation I'm in where I own like the base game, but I don't know if I own. I don't know. I should probably check, and I totally meant to before we came in here, <laughs> but it just didn't happen. I just I walked in, I sat down at my station, and that was it. It was just like, all right, let's do this. That's pretty much what we've been doing for a while now. <laughs> yeah, no, that's exactly how it runs. So, like, uh, oh, yeah, what I are we talking about? Do we even know? <laughs> no, no, we don't. We don't. <laughs> no, that's true. That's not true. Sometimes we have a plan of action. Today, this week, we just didn't, man. We failed. We have a plan for, like, next week. Yeah, that's true. We didn't have enough time for that one this week. Mm -hmm. We just, uh, I mean, ugh. Anyway. Seven friends own this game, and I've never played it with any of them online. Uh, you are not one that owns them. I am not one. Okay, there we go, guys. The answer we have, I don't own Payday 2 on PC. Yep. Oh, well. I can change that, though. Like, I got... Oh, it's on sale all the time. Right. I mean, I might just go in there and buy it after we're done here, because... Why not? Yeah. I overpaid my credit card this week. I got a little extra money. <laughs> yeah, don't buy it. We're going to buy it on the Switch. That's true. Yeah, I'll hold off. <laughs> February. Of these seven people, I've never seen one of them play it, so. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I have that, like, I have 203 games or something like that. I think I've played maybe 40 of them. Yeah, it's, if you're, I, it's a pathetic amount. If you're talking about actually playing them more than just starting them up and seeing what they're like i've maybe played 15 of them <laughs> so you i know. mean there's just so many times where a steam sales up or i'll see like a daily game like oh that looks fun i kind of wanted to Skyrim play that is never not going to exist on a new platform oh stuff shit like that, so. stop, stop reminding me that i own it on switch <laughs> Like that's I, I I've been playing it on the Switch. I've mentioned that last week, and I told everybody to shame me. And it's like shame, shame. I'm like level 193 in this game. <laughs> I reset my illusion skill 86 times. Like it's it's ridiculous, Jesus man. Christ. You want you Ogma Infinium? Eat your heart out. You can't hold a candle to to this. So. The thing that breaks me is every time we, you know you talk about high, how high level you are, and I think about Skyrim. I'm like, oh man, then you could start using. Oh wait, no, those spells were from that big spell mod I found. Fucking, yeah. and I'm like, oh yeah, you have like six With spells. Fucking mods in <laughs> Fallout Four. I only made it to like a le- like level one twelve. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's in, like the highest level I've ever been like legitimately is like two hundred and twenty or something like that. When they when they finally lifted the level cap, and illegitimately I've gone beyond that, but I've learned you don't want to go beyond level two fifty. Because beyond that point, you lose all of your perks. Like, all your perk points, any free perk points you have, once you hit 251 or higher, you lose them all. <laughs> and you stop gaining perk points. And it's like, I don't know if that's a bug or if that was intended, but that's really shitty. <laughs> and granted, probably because it's like, they're not, they're not going to get this far. I mean, well, granted, like, there's only 251 perk points you can get anyway. That seems like yeah. a good number to stop. Yeah. Oh, game yeah. Developing at. Yeah. <laughs> like level two hundred fifty. I I think we can quit. I think you, I, I I you've done your. Nobody job. will get there. You can go fix some enough. fucking bugs now. Yeah. yeah please. <laughs> like that. Though. The game could have worked on PS3 when it came out. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. I I'm not saying make miracles happen here. No no no. But just fix the bugs that are like like. If they had taken this game on Switch. And incorporated the unofficial bug patches. It'd be so the game much. would be so much better. 
And honestly, you could they could look they could at least go and say, "Look, we fixed some bugs." You wouldn't fast travel and watch a mammoth fall from the sky. No, to that would down. be because that's something that can't be fixed. That's oh, in the okay. physics engine, so they'd have mm. to update the physics engine, mm. which is separate from the rest of that. So that can't. I don't think that could be fixed. But it's like like the quest that you can't complete for some stupid reason. It like, just sits there, right? Like like I can't ever get rid of the investigate the Boethia cultist thing because even though I've already done it, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. I can't ever get rid of uh, now. Now I've got the little miscellaneous quest from Arn Gear to go to Arkwind Point. Anybody who's moderately familiar with the game understands that Arkwind Point is bugged because you can't ever clear it because there's nothing there that's marked to be cleared. Yeah. So, like, there's, there's like, three or four Draugr Death Lords you can fight there, and there's a dragon, and it's a drag, it's a word wall, so the dragon, when you defeat the dragon, it should be marked as cleared, but Bethesda never set that flag on the dragon, so yeah. it never clears. So I'll always have that quest in my, my quest logs. So it's, That's just frustrating. Yeah, it, it's really dumb, because these are really small, minor fixes. Yeah. Like, all you got to do is open up. It's literally open up the CK, click on the dragon object you have spawned there, and add that flag. But they didn't, so. Nah. I mean, that, like, like we said before, that's why I'm happy to see things like, even even though I'm not a fan of it, the fact that they are, uh, Dark Souls is coming back, and they're um, doing a, re- whatever, they're, they're remastering. remastering the whole game for yeah. But it's coming out on everything, not just Switch. Yeah, no, it's Switch, PS4, PS4 Xbox, Xbox One, One, and PC. So they're finally mm-hmm. giving us a decent you know, PC port. Yeah. Um, and I guess it's it's not much of an upgrade. It's just you know some visual stuff, some bug fixes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess on Switch it's going to run at 30 frames a second, which is fine yeah. because that's how uh, that's originally how the game was designed anyway, and. That's part of why it's so screwy on PC, because PC can run it at 60 frames, but yeah. it was originally designed to be run at 30 frames, so that's why you can sometimes miss dodge and shit, from what I understand. Yeah. Like, it's just, oh, it's real easy to fuck that up, because they tied game mechanics to frame rate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which, it was like what the problems they had when they uh, remastered uh, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> right, yeah, because there were things in that that were, that were like, yeah. It relied on crappy uh, Crappy frame rate, yeah, like the jumping and, and all that. Like mm-hmm. it, re- it was tied to the frame rate of the game, which was original game. I think was uh, was like twenty eight or thirty frames a second. Mm-hmm. And now all of a sudden, you got it running at sixty frames a second. They don't have the source code for the game, so they had to rebuild it all from scratch. <laughs> so like the way the original game ran, we were all used to yeah. that. And now the newer game runs differently, yeah. even though it's in the spirit of the same game. You still will die over and over and over again at the same spot. Well, yeah, yeah. Because, but net, this time it's not due to lack of skill. Yeah. It's due to the timing actually being off. It's being different than what you were used to. Yeah. So some other things that came out of that, that Nintendo Direct that uh, we're kind of excited about is a Hyrule Warriors uh, oh, hell yeah. remaster. It's it's what the Wii U should have been. Yeah. The, 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 they're like bringing those games to this. Yeah, like yeah, the Switch is being what the Wii U should have been, like mm-hmm. you said. Like yeah, like, and I'm kind of glad for that because there were a lot of good games on the Wii U that I never played because I skipped the Wii U. Yeah, because it was just it, it, neat concept, terrible execution. Yeah, I, even owning it, I had no no intention of playing. Like after getting a couple of games, yeah, and just getting Smash Brothers, it was like it's I don't want to charge this stupid giant. Game Gear, yeah, that I have to fucking hold to play games to start them up. I don't. Uh, it was unenjoyable. Yeah, I mean the, the tablet portion of it is it's like an inch thick. Yeah, no, I don't. No, go away. Get yeah, out of here oh, with yeah. that. It's like it's like the like you said, it's the original Game Gear or like the Sega Nomad, which was even bigger than the original <laughs> Game Gear because it was a portable Sega Genesis and it took like six or eight double A batteries or or or. A f- <laughs> Or three, or six C's? I don't know. It was it was with a four hour battery life. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It, <laughs> I don't even think it had four hours, dude. Like an hour and a half. I think it was maybe tops three hours with the brightness on the screen turned down. Worse battery no life sound. than the Super Scope. Ugh. Super Scope was fun, at least. Yeah, but yeah, but it took like six double D, six D batteries. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was a giant flashlight thing. Yeah. So, you know, you know. I I don't know though. I. But uh, I, I'm liking the Switch so far. Yeah, it's fun. I definitely want to play Hyrule Warriors. Mm-hmm. Um, Donkey Kong 
looks fucking great. I might, I might have to grab that That's one. That's one too. that made me want to buy a Wii U cuz I wanted to play it. It looked yeah. really good. And they went back to the uh, you know, the old style of Donkey Kong. Yeah, the roots of it all. I mean, I like Donkey Kong 64. It was fun, but yeah. I mean, the next what was the next 3D game? Um um wasn't it on the GameCube or was it on the I Wii? I thought they had one on there. Uh they had a decent one on the Wii. I heard, well, that see, I that that kind of just lends itself to like how not great it was because we can't remember what it yeah. was. So I, I don't know. Like I never played. I do remember enjoying Donkey Kong sixty four though. Like we mm-hmm. had that game. We had the limited edition Donkey Kong Nintendo sixty four. The too. green one. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. green with the DK logo on it. DK. And that was that was really Donkey cool. But uh, I don't know, man. Like I, I kind of want to play a what is it? Tropical Freeze is yeah. what it's called. Yeah. Like, that game actually did look good, but, you know, it's just another one of those things where it was on the system that failed in my eyes, and I just didn't have, I never played, so I didn't care. Yeah, oh yeah. It was dead in a year. I mean, they they discontinued production of it after just four years. Like, that's that's how bad it was. It's just, whereas the generation that, um, the PS3 and the Xbox One, they were like 11, 12-year generations, the Wii U lasted four. You know what, it's, Speaking of that, going a little uh, in a different direction, um, so the Xbox One and the PS4. Yeah. So we now have the PS4 Pro. Pro. The uh, we got the Xbox One S and now the Xbox, Xbox One, One uh, X. X. Yes. Um, didn't they say <laughs> these consoles their fucking, their titles, were supposed man. to last even longer than the last generation? Yep, but uh, the thing These is, like fucking morons. Well, see, that, that 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 throws back to like for me, you know, the whole let's get six, let's get 1080p gaming down before we move on to exactly. 4K gaming. Like you still got games that are coming out for these systems that don't tar- that can't even target 60 frames a second on 1080. It's like, well, maybe we should make that the target now. But you know, they decided that I nope, mean, 4K, gotta 4K, we gotta have 4K. And I, I mean, I don't know. I'm still not ready for 4K. Like 4K video, fine. Yeah, give me 4K Blu-rays. But I'm not ready for 4K gaming. It's just, it's not, it's not financially feasible, in my honest opinion. I don't think it's really worth all the development and 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 everything that everybody's investing into it. It's like, it's I not. I think we're a few years away. Yeah, I think. Like the like. Uh, no matter, like, the source material is just isn't there yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like I said, in the digital world and in, in the film and stuff, it, it's absolutely there. We can film in like 16K or some ridiculously high resolutions now, mm-hmm. and that's great. I, you know, but when it comes to gaming, there's just there's too much to push right now. For every like, you know, you know, there's there's so many. Two like two K upscales and shit like that. It's yeah. all upscaled. And it's not not. There's very rarely you find something that's truly HD, like true HDR or true four K. Yeah, I mean, I guess Forza is true four K. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I didn't ask for that, but that's cool. One of the best looking games I've seen is uh, my buddy. My uh, lives in Michigan. Best friend. He's got. He bought. Way he bought a super powered system, right? Um, because he just dropped the dime on it and said, Fuck it. And uh, he's played, used to play GTA 5 like endlessly and downloaded a bunch of 4K mods and everything. And he was running the game, he wasn't running it at 60 frames, but he's running it in ultra 4K, went, dropped the coin on a 4K monitor, and that was the best looking game I've ever seen. Is seeing that game with those 4K mods. Absolutely fucking beautiful. Um, I kind of like the hyper realism mods that that they that people have made for GTA Four. Yeah, have you, have you seen those? Those look good too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I th- I think that's probably that's kind of that. Take that and then the next step up is what uh what he was running with uh right GTA Five. Plus, I, I th- just think it's a better better visually game. I mean, um, GTA Five is. is objectively vastly superior to 4. Yeah. In, like, every conceivable way. Especially when it comes to PC, because the PC port we got was absolute garbage. Like, oh, 4, yeah. Buggy awful. as hell, <laughs> missing textures. Like, like, even on good graphics cards, it's, it's yeah. utter shit. Even on good systems, it's shit, so. It's why I really, I, I, I wanted GTA Five faster, 
for PC, but I'm glad Rockstar took their time with it. Oh, yeah, no, I, I wish more companies would. Yeah, oh, yeah, I Ubisoft, mean, fucking looking at you. I would love to be able to say I'm going to buy um, the next Far Cry on PC, but I'm not. I, I won't buy Ubisoft games for the PC, and not just because I hate Origin, or not Origin, uh, Uplay, Uplay, but every single one I've bought has just been a buggy pile of trash. Yeah. Uh, like, Black Flag. Oh, my God. Pissed me off so much. That game was so... It's such a good game. Fucking good, though. <laughs> it's so fun. You play... You That's do the assassin race. story for, like, you know, it a, was a, a little bit. It was buggy. Yeah, and then you right. stop playing the assassin story and go be a pirate endlessly, and it's awesome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of sad that you have a game called Assassin's Creed, and the best part about the game is being a pirate, not an assassin. Hell, yeah. I think like, they knew that a little bit. <laughs> right. I mean, if they had marketed it more that way... I don't know. I mean, would you look at what, what what's the newest one? Unity. Or, Unity. I hear good things. I, I don't know. Maybe. Sometimes it's. They they did what a lot of people wanted them to do. They took a year off, and then they pretty much scrapped everything about Assassin's Creed. Right. Um. As far as like combat and all that kind of stuff, and people wanted that to be new. And you know, from what I heard, it's good. I. I still I don't know if I'll ever play it because I never want to play a mission where I have to follow someone and stay in a little green circle because I have to listen to their stupid conversation to get information I already know. Yeah, no, that, that I'm done with that. That's always been annoying, and that was one thing I didn't like about like three was the last one I played. Yeah, and three was uh, it was ultimately it was ultimately a letdown, but it was really really cool at first, but the notoriety mm-hmm. wore off so quick. But yeah, that's kind of how that's kind of how I felt like when I had to follow somebody. Um, and that game was buggy in its own right, too. And I played that on the Xbox 360. Yeah. Well, like, uh, they always have. Like, that was one of those games, though. Like, like you know how you jump from, like, the top of a tower into, mm-hmm. like, a cart? The amount of times when, they, when the game was, you know, teaching me how to do that, that I missed that cart. Because <laughs> the game's... It, the game is just a pile of shit. Like I'd have my jump perfectly lined up, and then he'd go, like, the opposite direction or something. It's like... No, no. What, what are How you doing? How twitchy the controls were sometimes. Like, like, what so you, you running rooftop to rooftop, and then just you jump off the roof. Yeah, like <laughs> for no reason. Like you're 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 pushing your stick to the right, and for some reason your character jukes left, and it's like <laughs> no, 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 stop that. Just dodging a bullet you didn't see, or you're sitting there like running along the treetops or something. Mm-hmm. Don't kill animals and not skin them because you're gonna get desynced. Oh god, that was. I hated that so, so much. So annoying. Like I loved the concept of that game, playing a Native American, yeah, running through the trees and stuff, and those Civil War battles. Yeah. I was so excited it about it. It was so cool. But and then in con- in when you actually played the game, yes. you're around like eight soldiers. You can see there's one battle where it actually feels like you're a part of a battle. Every other one was just mm-hmm. like immensely that game bored me to death it's yeah. like it's like with skyrim you go like you're seizing uh forts or something you can actually walk up to where the soldiers are spawning from and it's not like a door in the fort it's like a little random corner where yeah. there's a well they're oh the soldiers are coming out of the they're well coming out the well that makes perfect <laughs> sense and it got to a point where like like there were there were times where I was playing through Skyrim and I was so high leveled, so overpowered that by the time I'm doing those quests, because you don't have to do them, but I decided to go ahead and do them, I would just stand at their spawn point and literally just one shot the soldiers. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Or I'd sit there like back with my bow and just shooting them in the face or something like just <laughs> die. They spawn. Yeah, like like seriously, it's just I don't know, man. <laughs> like that. Uh, that was one of those games that promised something they couldn't deliver to, but yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. more Nintendo Direct stuff. That Kirby game. Uh, what is it? Kirby. Uh, I didn't catch the friend. Name. Star Allies. Star Allies. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't fucking Play Doh. That's all I noticed. Yeah, yeah or Luckily. yarn or something like yarn, that. Yarn. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's, I mean, all, I, that's yeah. all I noticed. It's not. It's not good. the Kirby yarn game. Yeah. Which I don't know if that was good or bad necessarily. I never played. I'm it. I'm sure it was great. A great game, but I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't they do? A I Yoshi want my one? Kirby oh. to look pink and adorable. Got, they did Yoshi yarn. Too. Yeah, 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 I have yeah. a beard. I have tattoos. <laughs> I'm a fucking like. Come on, I can't let it. <laughs> I'm like. If Ron well, had just played me, that game, he'd have walked out of his tattoo shop Start playing on my little yard, pony yard. fucking video game. I'm, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> if you yeah, make no, I, a good one. I, I, could see, I, could see, I could see Ron ironically getting a Kirby tattoo on like his shoulder or something. Yeah. Hey, man. The, the, I remember one of the first games I was so excited about 
was was Kirby for uh, SNES. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would go specifically over to my friend's house just to play uh, his dad's Super Nintendo and play Kirby. <laughs> like, I like, mean, that series was so Kirby fun Superstar. to me. Yeah, Kirby Superstar. Uh, uh, yeah. Like, that game is fantastic. Mm-hmm. And... I, I that's one of those games that I've been waiting so long for them to like like because they've they've been remade so many games like that's a game that deserves they never a remake. did that one yeah I think it does I, no they did on on DS Kirby okay. Superstar Ultra but I don't have a DS yeah so I have a 3DS that I never play anymore so Nintendo if you're if any of you from Nintendo are listening the idea that the th- the Switch isn't there to replace 3DS is a pile of lies because my Switch has replaced my 3DS. Yeah, oh yeah, they just don't want to admit it, but that's totally what it is. Like you you have cannibalized your 3DS market, I'm mm-hmm. afraid. I'm I'm sure that you're proud to be producing software for it still, but I don't play it anymore. I haven't logged on to it in months. Mm-hmm. Like I just picked it up yesterday to discover delightfully that it still worked. <laughs> like <laughs> Come on, man! I, and that's one of those systems I've invested at least a thousand bucks in, mm-hmm. like with the games I've bought and shit. And I I don't play it anymore, because the Switch offers a better experience yeah. at roughly the same price point as the 3DS did when I first got it. Because I mean, I paid two fifty for the 3DS when it first came out, and then I eventually ended up breaking that, <laughs> and then I bought the used one, and I broke that one, <laughs> and then I traded in my Vita to get a new one. And I didn't even get a new 3DS. I got the old 3DS. So Yeah. Which, that also didn't last long. I mean, that's a testament to how good that console was. Right. Like, even if even if it is going down now because of the Switch, and there's still people that are going to play it with the new games coming out for it all the time. I mean, yeah, I still want to get into uh, the, the, the four new Pokemon games I've missed. Yeah. Sun and Moon and Ultra yeah, and Moon and all that. Those handheld systems are going nowhere. Yeah. yeah. They've been around our entire life. They're going yeah. nowhere. Like I, well, that's what I'm thinking. Though, like the Switch is a handheld system. It is, but it's both. It isn't. No, it it, and, it, it and totally a, and is. A, and a lot of people who are out who aren't us, mm-hmm. like moms and shit like that. They're 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 way more. They're slightly more affordable. Right. Those will will sell to to that type of people type of person yeah because i mean the way, way i'm before a switch will that's true even though when it comes to the new 3ds and the switch there's literally only a hundred dollar price difference yeah because a new 3ds is 199 I, I think it might it might have dropped to 179 now but mm-hmm. it's 199 but for a hundred dollars more you can get a switch so yeah mario odyssey yeah i think it's gonna take people talking about like hey yeah i was playing uh fucking dark souls in the train or yeah. landed on the bus or yeah. in the car rides and stuff it'll take that's where they'll be talking about it. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I don't think there's any batteries on the market now. I a while back, I was backed just thinking about that. Battery. battery is a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I backed a battery. I mean, um, case and it'll all, it'll practice. take people. Are, it's we live in such a hive minded world where it'll it's going to take a while before word of mouth eventually spreads to the point where oh yeah, this is a handheld to the yeah. general population. Yeah. People see it as like a it's a home console mm-hmm. that you can take wherever you want like a, moms and dads and Right shit now like it's that kind of in novelty out. status. Yeah. yeah. I mean totally. it's a great system but yeah. yeah, I mean but I I said like I said to 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 most gamers to sit there and say that oh no this isn't replacing the 3DS. I don't know, I think for a lot of people it is. Yeah. I mean even might, if it's unconscious. Yeah, you might not have intentionally made it that way, but for a lot of us like yeah, uh, since I got my Switch, I really haven't played my 3DS. Well, another part of that is uh whether we like it or not, the mobile phone game market yeah took a big chunk out of the 3DS. Yeah. Um, like if you were gonna have a, a 3ds or a Game Boy or something, you got it. Like that that market yeah. is insular. It, like he said, it's not gonna go away. Right. Um, but it's not gonna gain anybody new because anyone's got a console right in their hands already. Yeah. Everyone has a cell phone. Everyone wants the newest and latest cell phone. Yep. Even though the marketplace for them, the games are almost n- like. 100% garbage, uh-huh. and they're all pay to wait. There are still good games out there. Oh, for sure. You can I mean, find them. Like, I, 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 that was my opinion of all mobile games for a long, long time yeah. until I actually went through and was like, oh, wait, I can just spend $4 and get an actual game? No, not oh, bad. that's kind of cool. Yeah. It's not going to charge me microtransactions and bullshit. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, there are definitely a lot of games on there. Like, like, yeah. You got like Baldur's Gate on Android now. 
Yeah. I mean, Damn. yeah, like that's <laughs> awesome. Gosh. Like that. This is one and of the it, first games I downloaded on and, my laptop after I got my laptop. <laughs> right, and, and it's not like a mobile version of the game. It is the full game. Gate. Like, yeah, it is Baldur's Gate, man. It's like, where's Diablo? Yeah. You know, give me Diablo. <laughs> give me Diablo, too, because I know it's possible. I know. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I would love that. Like, that would be awesome. Like we talked about it before, um, KOTOR. Yeah, KOTOR, mm-hmm. which um, not a great game, but yeah, I own it. It didn't transfer well <laughs> to mobile, but. I mean, I, I even playing it with a controller on my Shield TV. It's just, I, I can't do it. It didn't age well. <laughs> it do, Yeah, it definitely hasn't aged well. Like, like you, you got, like, other turn-based type games. They've aged much better. For some reason, this mm-hmm. one just didn't. I don't know what it is, but, like, I can play a Fire Emblem. I can play a, a, a Final Fantasy, but for some reason, I just can't play this game. Yeah. And it's not, it's not like it's bad. It's just, I don't know what it is. I just can't. It was different. It was a new idea for that turn-based uh, style. Well, it, it feels more like a turn-based tactical game. Yeah, which is fine. That's what Fire Emblem is. Fire Emblem is a turn-based tactical game, but it's done in in, in more of a traditional RPG style. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is though. For some reason, those don't mesh well for me. Yeah, and I and the gameplay is just slow and eh. Mm-hmm. That's just kind of how I feel when I play it. It's an Xbox game. Yeah. Stay should stay on the Xbox. It, it was a wasn't it a PlayStation game? It was both. No, oh, I don't know. Like, like that was that, well, PS2, I think. Yeah, we're talking about during a time where I was, you know, once again, mm-hmm. just kind of beholden to whatever my dad bought. So I never, I never got to play a lot of those games, which is a shame. But I, that, I hated turn-based games. Period. Like I didn't, I, I like, I watch clips of that game and watch people play it. Yeah, and that's my enjoyment from that game. Actually playing it, no. Yeah, I like I, I the story is great. Like I love reading about the story. But um, I mean, it's Star Wars. Exactly. Star Wars has always done story, not always, no, mostly, no. <laughs> mostly done story well. A lot of the expanded well. universe needed to be taken away. Right. Uh, how many? Like we're talking thousands of novels. Not all of them good. No, because there was a time where it was pretty much just. Uh, you want to write a Star Wars novel? Okay, here you go. Yeah, you can write do with it. these characters. Yeah. Oh, you want to write uh, more clones of the Emperor? Oh, you want to write Luke Skywalker getting possessed yeah, by like the spirit Luke, of the Emperor? Luke has clones. Oh, you want to write clones of Luke? Oh, you want to write uh, Chewbacca getting killed by a moon landing on a planet? Yep, you can do that. That and it, his, that way he went out. That was a pretty boss way to go out, though, I must yeah, say. I mean, he went out as a boss, but he still got hit by a moon. Yeah. <laughs> the Uzan Vong, man. Just, I mean, oh, you want to write that the Emperor was right all along and have that be the basis of everything Star Wars? Yeah, they did that in the novels. Really? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah, the Emperor was right. No. Everything he did was apparently to uh, prepare for the Vong. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Is that is that the stuff? Are the, is that the race that's unaffected by the Force? Yes. Okay. Yeah, the Uzan Vong were like, they were like um, uh, Star Wars Borg, except they're more, uh, they're organic. Right. So their weapons are like alive there. They mutate things. Wow. Um, they create creatures that they're totally fight. like yeah. expanded universe they're, bullshit. Well, I <laughs> mean, God they are they never, expanded verse bullshit. But. Yeah. Thank God they never uh, joined everything else. I mean, there's like there's a rabbit. I remember in the comic books. <laughs> just, he's fucking. He's an anthro rabbit. He's just a furry. I mean, it's Star Wars. There's yeah. all sorts of aliens. Like all sorts stuff. of. It's like Dax and Green Lantern. Like you found, like this, just this, this angry just, kitty cat, yeah. Red Lantern flying around. Oh, there's a squirrel, I love it. Green Lantern. Yeah, I love it. But, and he uh, fucking beat Superman in a fight uh, once. This squirrel. The, the He's like, oh, Superman, it, you're so like, fast okay. and you're so strong, but you know, whatever. Can't, the synapses in your brain can't fire anymore. You lose. <laughs> Didn't he just go, I'm fucking Superman, and get out of that, though? No. Oh, okay. No, they, they totally took Superman into custody. That was in uh, uh, Injustice. We all, yeah. we, we know how that ended. <laughs> the whole entirety of the Green Lantern Corps got wiped uh, out in Injustice, too. <laughs> the Green Lanterns wanted wanted Superman to answer for his crimes, and Superman sure as fuck was going to answer for his crimes yeah. at the hands of a squirrel in Kilowog. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like Superman would just step up and take the punishment anyway, though. Like, he's such a good Well, not in that. Voice no, no, Superman is was, Superman. Superman's oh, officially oh. went off the deep end in oh. Injustice. Like, there's no coming back yet. I, I still have... I can't really – I lost a lot of respect for the Green Lantern Corps as a whole. Uh, one, hearing how shitty the uh, – what are they called? The 
the little dudes? The uh, guys, the guardians. Who, the guardians. Yeah, like oh. they, they can be assholes in different no, storylines. They're, they're terrible. Yeah, yeah. They're like awful. how terrible they are, and then the fact they're, that Superboy Prime wiped out like eighty or ninety Green Lanterns by monologuing. <laughs> yeah, they're, the guardians are are really, really, really just. They're just shitty. They are shitty. Like, oh man, here's here's what we're gonna do. No, don't do any of that. <laughs> Just you're going to save, you're going to be alone. the police officers of the galaxy, but we want you to be bad cops. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not okay. Not cool. No. Nah. All right, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and wind it down there. Yeah. This is good. We we went nowhere, and I liked it. It was a podcast. Hey, we had though. a conversation. Right. This is what, you know, we, we recorded something and put it on the internet. That's a podcast. Hey, sh- verbal shit posting. <laughs> now, can we get money for it is the question. <laughs> Probably not, but we <laughs> oh, can try. No. From this man, probably not. No, but uh, I don't. I mean, I don't know how I could ever feel good accepting money for this unless <laughs> we incorporated video, like a a, a video pod, and, and started uploading it to I YouTube. Would be and fine if uh, we were, you know, had like shilling for Blue Apron and I know. I mean, I don't. I don't care. We just if we happen to get lucky enough to build a big enough listener base eventually. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I mean, give me money. You said sorry. it before. I want uh, just give me free Blue Apron, and I will talk about how awesome Blue Apron is. But we ever want to bitch at me about? I mean, we've talked about ads before. Ever yeah. anybody ever wants to complain to me about that? Uh, I, I they can ask me what my life is, <laughs> and then I'll explain to them why we need that advertising money or whatever. Get that money. Yeah, Ron's life is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Oh God! It, it, it's it's really bad. Like, this is an escape for be us. Be careful. Part of the, that's why we started this. Enough said. Uh, yeah, don't don't say anymore. Man. It's it's good. <laughs> don't let the, the these entities hold it against you, Ron. Uh, don't give them evidence. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wind it down for be the ungodly careful. geeks. I was Joe. Uh, I was Luke. I'm Ron. You guys have a good day and fuck EA and Konami.